Hi. Um, this is in response to the uh, article about the man that's eating, that was eating other people and ripped the guy's face off and ate his face and was under the influence of drugs. And I've read several articles now stating that it's the new LSD. Um, uh, and it's also called bath salts. And chemically it's made out of methamphetamines, the bath salts. LSD is structurally completely different than methamphetamines. And that's what it stands for, lysergic acid dimethylide. I don't understand how something that's structurally different can be called the same thing as something that's completely structurally different. The science doesn't stand behind that at all. But this is how the war on drugs is such a joke and such a war on our personal freedom and our personal rights and our ability to know the truth. People hear, oh, it's the new LSD, and they'll think, keep spreading the lies about how LSD is some awful drug that's addictive, that's going to cause people to go insane and eat other people's faces off. It's non-addictive. LSD is non-toxic. Both of those are false when it comes to the bath salts. Those are both, they're both toxic. And I think that, um, once again, our DEA is doing a disservice to the human population by making up lies and likening a drug to something that has nothing to do with another. And why would they want people to think lies about LSD? Hmm, well, it actually does cause you to use more of your brain. Do, does the government want us to use our brain more? Or do they want us to believe all of their lies? It's also non-toxic and it can help people with addiction problems. The two most addictive, uh, actually the alcohol of course is the, the most addictive drug that we deal with in the U.S. And we all know it's more harmful than a lot of the illegal substances. But get the facts straight. I mean to say something's the new anything, wouldn't that mean that it has to be related to the old? There is nothing chemically similar to the bath salts and LSD. So, please spread the truth. I mean, at least let people know that this is wrong. Know what you're putting in your body. Don't listen to the government, because think about what the government wants. The government wants us to rely on them. So, addiction would be a good thing, wouldn't it? And the only two substances that you can die from withdrawing from are legal, alcohol and Xanax. I know that because I was addicted to both of them, and they told me in rehab, and you can have convulsions, seizures, and die. You cannot overdose on LSD. It's not addictive. And it's nothing like the bath salts that the guy was using when he ate the other people, when he ate someone else. I mean, it's just the war on the truth. The war on drugs is the